What is up my fellow subscribers, welcome back to a new video, today I am bringing you my review of the Infinite Warfare beta, let me know if you are having fun playing the beta or if you're not having fun, let me know why. So I'm gonna try to be as honest as possible with this review ladies and gentlemen, unlike the motherfuckers who get paid to go to the Call of Duty events, who get free card points, I mean these motherfuckers they have no opinion, they are like sheep, they are like puppets they gotta do what their master uh, tells them to do otherwise you know what's gonna happen is that they're not gonna get invited next year to the fucking event so they're like oh yeah oh yeah infinite warfare is so good oh yeah i love the infinite warfare bait it's the best beta ever oh my god no it's not it's garbage and they're not even saying a single bad word about it but someone has to do the dirty work here man someone has to be honest and i am that motherfucker so ladies and gentlemen the beta didn't start off very well for me uh this is the pre-review so the beta took me five hours to download that's a fucking nightmare so after i waited for five hours ladies and gentlemen i tried playing the beta and it didn't work i couldn't find any goddamn matches no one could all right so i was like you know what fuck this shit i'm going to sleep on the next day it was working i played the goddamn thing the whole morning and oh jesus christ after i was done i was left traumatized like a little jimmy i had no reaction i just i looked like a little jimmy like a fucking potato my controller is hanging by wires i don't know how it still works if i blow on it it falls apart that's how much fun i was having playing this beta it's just it was a nightmare so now on to the review there are three th three things i want to talk about the hit detection the maps and the score streaks these three things are the three things that are pissing me off so the hit detection is absolute garbage it, uh, it this doesn't even look like an infinity world game and you know yeah it doesn't it actually doesn't look like an infinity world game it looks like fucking black ops 3 which is treyarchs but i was like you know what, I know the game is going to look like Treyarch, everyone knows uh, it's going to look like Black Ops 3, everyone knows that, but at least my hope is that it's going to have the Infinity Wars hit detection. <laughs> Where is it? Is it? Do we have to unlock the Infinity Wars hit detection in a supply drop? Because right now, all I see is Black Ops 3's hit detection all over the place. Why? What I see right now is Treyarch all over the place. I mean, who the fuck made this game? Was it Treyarch or Infinity Ward? Where is that delicious? Where's that beautiful ghost hit detection? I mean, ghosts, I shoot motherfuckers, they die. There's nothing with this bullshit shooting first, dying first. If I see a motherfucker and I put a bullet first on his face, he's gonna fucking drop dead in front of me. That doesn't happen in Infinite Warfare. No matter what. It just doesn't matter which gun I use. I might get one kill, but then another motherfucker appears, I shoot him and he fucking kills me it's just why am i shooting marshmallows what's going on here i'm shooting fucking blanks it, it, my bullets do nothing it's just i end up most of my matches almost even right with almost as many deaths as kills it's just it's so bad man and there's a, there's something else why can't why can't i fucking aim in this game it's just like i feel like a little jimmy right what i'm talking about is uh sometimes it feels like my aim assist when i'm using assault rifles and, and smgs uh, it feels like my aim assist just turns off randomly and i cannot put my bullets on the target i'm shooting all around the fucking enemy i'm I'm doing my best to put my red dot on the fucking enemy's face and I just can't it's like it's being pulled off I mean I don't know it's just weird you just you will understand this if it happened to you the next thing ladies and gentlemen is or are the maps the maps are kind of bad all right they're kind of bad in infinite warfare they added the fourth map that one is a little bit better it's more you know it has the long lines of sight less you know entrances everywhere all over the place now the I mean, the other three maps, they have no flow, the design is terrible, they're like chaotic, there are four or five entrances to every area, I mean, especially when you're capturing flags in Domination, the <laughs> people, you know, people come from everywhere, there's nothing you can fucking do, and then we have the shitty spawns, because the maps are super small, the movement system is super fast, what happens when you combine both things? Diarrhea, I, I, I mean, aka shit spawns that's what happens you can't fucking move in this game man you want to run around like a savage beast 
Well, guess what? You can't, because you're going to die from all... You're going to get shot from all directions. You're going to die all over the place if you try running around like a beast. So, I mean, I kind of feel like either I just play for fun and I don't care about dying, or if I want to play, if I want to get a good score, I feel like I need to camp like a fat slob. I feel like at first I need to eat three pizzas, drink three colas, not diet colas, like Cokes, whatever, three fucking Cokes, and then I am ready to play this game, alright? I'm just ready to sit behind a fucking crate with an assault rifle, and I just, that's how I feel I gotta play this fucking beta. And then we have, ladies and gentlemen, the score streaks, which are absolutely trash. The first thing I hate about the score streaks is that they are score streaks. I fucking hate them. Why? Because they don't help you get your uh, the kill streaks. And that when, I, in, when that happens, it's not fun. That's why I love point streaks. Because when you use point streaks, you get rewarded for playing the objective. Like taking, you know, flags in nomination, tags in kill confirmed. But, you know, your kill streak kills are the same as if you were getting a normal a normal kill with your gun. Therefore, when you use point streaks, your kill streaks will actually help you. Your initial kill streaks help you get your other uh, two kill streaks. That doesn't really happen with score streaks because you get 25 points per kill. It's not just an Infinity War thing. You know, it's a Treyarch thing. But I mean, I just why did why are they using score streaks? You know, it's a Treyarch thing. Infinity War should be using point streaks. Then we have another problem. We just have 14 streaks in Infinite Warfare against, for example, 18 in Black Ops 3 and against, like, I don't know, 20 in Ghosts? How many kill streaks are in Ghosts? Like 20. So this shit looks more like Advanced Warfare with just a few kill streaks. And to be honest, they're not even fun. These kill streaks are not even. F they're boring as shit. Let me tell that right now. Let me take a look at these kill streaks. We have a UAV. I mean, it's a normal little kill trick. You don't have really fun using a UAV. We have the Scarab. Now, this little fucker is the only thing I use, to be honest. This fucker is funny. It's an, it's an RCXD, HCXD. We have the Care Package. It's a normal kill trick. Uh, it might be fun, but we can't use it at this point. The Counter UAV, boring. Vulture. It's like a Talon, I guess. It's like the Vulture from Ghosts. It might be fun. Then we have three kill streaks that I don't give two shits about. The Trinity Rocket, the Scorchers, and the Bombardment. At most, you'll get like two or three kills with these things. Then we have a Shock Sentry. It's a Sentry gun. Then we have a Helicopter. Whatever. This thing, I mean, you get Blind Eye at, you know, as, you, as one of your first kill streaks. So, a lot of people use Blind Eye. So, this Helicopter is not going to do anything. Then we have an Advanced UAV. I mean, I don't care. Then we have three kill streaks that are that are probably fun, but they're super high, so I'm probably not gonna be able to get these motherfuckers. Uh, the one that I would like to use is the uh, big ass robot with the riot shield, but I just realized it lasts a fucking minute. It lasts a minute. So we went from having beasts like, you know, the assault juggernaut, the support juggernaut. The maniac juggernaut in ghosts without a time limit to having a piece of shit kill streak that lasts a minute. Even the Goliath in Advanced Warfare didn't have a time limit, I believe. You know, so why does this shit last a fucking minute? It should have no time limit. If the enemy wants this motherfucker gone, they should destroy it. That's how it works with the assault jugs, uh, with the uh, juggernauts and whatever. So this doesn't look like a list of kill streaks of Infinity War, to be honest. It kind of, it's kind of disappointing, and I just, I don't see how I'm supposed to have fun with these kill streaks. They're not fun. They might be able to get you a few kills, but they're not fun. That's the bottom line. Because I'm a savage beast and I like having fun. I just don't play for kills. So that's pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know if you agree with this video. Uh, let me know your opinion in the comment section down below. I will see you next time. And I'm going to play the beta a little bit more. Because I just unlocked a Savage Beast attachment. I'm going to be making a video about it. Maybe. It's an attachment that you don't get by default. You have to get it in a gun via supply drops. And I, you know, I got lucky. I got that motherfucker. I don't even care about the gun, which is a good gun. It's the E-Red, I believe. But that a Savage Beast attachment is fucking awesome in infinite warfare so actually there's something good i like about this game you know actually there's more things i like about this game and i'll make a video about it i'll make a positive video about it don't fucking worry i always end up finding something positive in the middle of a pool of shit so i'll see you next time my fellow beast scribers
Peace out.